It's fair to say that these forgiving golf clubs have totally changed this golfer's game. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we're discussing how these forgiving golf clubs have totally changed one of my friend's golf game because he was struggling before. Guys, get in the comments below, who do you think I'm playing against today? Five, four, three, two, one. He's here. Oh, how are we, Chris? Are I'm, you well? I'm here, I've made it. Chris, I've just been telling them how these golf clubs have totally changed your game. So in this video, we're going to talk about how they've changed the game, why you've changed the game, yeah. and what exactly they are, all while you try and beat me, because you've not had that much luck this year. Well, I've not done bad, I'd say. It's you, 50, yeah, but the year before, if you remember, you beat me all the time. Well, I did, but you, I mean, you play every day. I'm just a part-time golfer. Right, Chris, I'll let you lead us off here at Woolley Park Golf Club, see if you can get one over on me. And I'm using these today as well. I'm just testing these out ready for the new year. I don't think it's even so much the forgiveness of your clubs, but another couple of factors Ooh. that we'll discuss. Right. Four iron. I should get me to the post. Well, oh, I've took the corner. Not off. bad. It's about perfect, is it, that? Aggressive line. Aggressive. See, now, with your old clubs, I'm not sure that would have gone as well. Or as far. No, I don't think it would have Because you've actually picked up distance against me with irons as well, haven't you? I have with the power bats, that you like to call them. Oh, similar line. I think they are position A, you know, really. Ooh. And you see, this video might upset a few people. And I'd apologise, but I don't think we need to because... Because Chris, the loft police, might not be that happy with you. No, they are a little bit stronger. They are cheat codes, as Foxy likes to call these irons. And they're just a little bit stronger lofter, but they also have the technology to get the ball up in the air. Yeah, so exactly. who's the real winner? Well, exactly. If you're the average golfer, if you can get it to go a little bit further, still land soft, why not take the advantage? Average golfer. PGA pro, everyone. <laughs> well, Chris, that is position A and two fantastic tee shots on this opening hole. I didn't see them. I'm, I'm fired up. Great shot. So, Chris, if you just explain to us, first of all, what clubs you were using before. I basically put these in your hands and said these are perfect for you. But in today's video, guys, I'm going to try and tempt my best friend into using these brand new irons and potentially putting them in the bag for good. Because for me, these are some of the best irons of the year of 2021. Yep. What were you using before and what made you think? Because you weren't really up for it at the start, were you? Uh, I had the tailor-made P770s, which were great. I really enjoyed them. They were better than the Apex Pros I had before. Again, a little bit more forgiving, went a little bit further. When I first got these, a little bit chunkier on the top, knew they were going to be a little bit stronger and a slight bit of offset. So, yeah. different. And for people who are wondering what they are, they are the Cobra King Forge Tech Iron. Not copper, but they are the chrome version. Look at these for two tee shots, by the way. I know. About 100 yards in. 100 yards, and one of the big things that also surprised me with these irons was the pitching wedge, how he was able to fly to it and play different shots. Wow. I mean, it needs cleaning. Wow. <laughs> it needs a spring clean. I've caught you out there, haven't I? That's a delightful ball flight. Pin high right hand side, not bad. Yeah, but direction wasn't the best, so I'll give it that. That was more me, but flight it in nice. Yeah, nice well. low ball flight as well, though. So Stop very quick and not bad for a strong power bat. So I'll play a similar shot. We'll keep it as fair as possible, and I'll go pitching wedge in these Mizuno, I keep want to say MP, the Mizuno Pro 223 irons. And the one thing for me about when you use a smaller iron in a pitching wedge, a 998 iron, yes, it's got more loft, it's a shorter club, it's easier to use, but it's still easier to mess up if you are using a bladed club. And we see it so often people go blade short irons just because they feel like they can. Then you start missing the green from 100 yards, 120 yards, 130 yards. When really, you should just still have that forgiveness. Sit. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. So guys, I really do love it when you are a part of these videos, so do me a big favour, get in the comments below, let me know what irons are you using and why are you using them? Were you fitted for them? Was one of your friends using them? Did you just like the look of them in the shop? Or have you just gone on the basis that you need more forgiveness like this man? 
Well, Chris, you're actually closer than me here because you're flag high. Your man was a better line, but it's a little bit long. Yeah, it was a little bit long. So with the power bats, mine did fly lower. That's probably down more to technique. But you mine. managed to control the distance, which is everything when it comes to these shots. Specialist. Right, I think a bookie would go for two pars here off the basis of these, but let's see, because they're not easy puts to even two put, or mine isn't. Yeah, mine's not too bad. I've been fortunate to have an uphill. I'll give it a roll. Mine's a bit of a Tina Turner. Oh, I would have called that for you going first as well if it went in. I mean, that did a bit of a snake at the hole. That was unlucky. But regulation, four iron wedge, two ports. Oh, mm. pace. And you see in these videos, it always comes down to the putter. And I must say that in every video, but also it obviously helps to hit more greens, to hit it closer and more forgiveness will help that. Won't it, Chris? It certainly will. And this is the exact reason why I'm not even contemplating, not even thinking about the Mizuno 221 irons, the blades, the MBs, because no, I've done a video using them and I had to have two days off afterwards, <laughs> just no. Second hole, par four, three, seven, two. We're gonna go iron only. So four iron off the tee. Another. Chris is marking his stats down, I think. Another four iron. And you see, I honestly think a good four iron, a good solid forgiving four iron, as important, as your driver, as your wedges, because if, especially in summer when the ball rolls, if you can get off the tee with ease at 200, 220 yards, you're in play more often and more likely to hit more greens. Yeah, and a lot of people struggle. They think, do I get a hybrid? Do I get a seven wood? What do I do? Do I get a driving iron? Yeah, if you can get a four iron in your set or close to your set that works, it does make it a lot easier. Another fairway in Regulation. That sounded glorious as well. Were bit. you surprised by the feel of them, even though they are a forgiving set? Yeah, feel is very good. Again, it was getting a little bit used to the a little bit of offset compared to the other ones, but once you get over that, you can't miss hit these. It seems you can't miss hit them. I've tried my best. Veil. Sharp. Social again, two fairways. Yeah, they're very close again, aren't they? That's two good shots. It'll be interesting to see how far behind maybe I am there with the loft differences on these Mizunos. Now, I'm exceptionally pleased with mine because I hit it really, really well. And it's just lingering around. Ooh. Just lingering like a bad smell. Good Ooh. tee shots, then. Oh, I've kicked the camera. I apologise. Yeah, two good shots. I mean, mine felt good. I mean, but it's yours, obviously, you hit yours. I much. absolutely ripped mine, to be fair. But... You ripped yours, my one that was just normal. It's gone the same distance. Again, if I got it a little bit better, might have gone probably a little bit further. But What have you got here? You're going to chip an eight. We're about 150, aren't we? 150 chip markers there. Chip an eight. The wind is down, but I'm going to, again, try and fly one in. Where a lot of people, when they go forgiving, think it's just going to pop up all the time. But... And that's what you might get with the P790s, which is probably the equivalent to these. Correct. I did. I used to get a lot that popped up really high. That banking's a lovely place to be, by the way. Oh, if this just catches that banking, it could be... Yeah, come back down now. Watch this. Just, just playing the contours. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. And I'm going to do the same. Obviously, I've got a bit more loft to work with. I don't know if I mentioned that yet already. So I'd probably find this shot a little bit easier to get up and stop. Sit. Mm, Sit. It's come out low. On the bank. Oh, it don't must... stay there. It's coming. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, just. That just. is okay. Right, so not really tearing any trees up there, but that is another two greens in regulation, which if you're using bladed clubs, if you're using non-forgiving clubs, you might not have that success rate, especially with hitting irons off the tee as well. Let's see if we can roll a putt in and take him in this match. Guys, comment below who's going to win. Two very similar shots there. This is a very... Uh, very friendly video, although it is a festive period, I mean, so... Yours was lucky, really, wasn't it? How was it lucky? Mine if you look at the two pitch in, marks... Delightful. Pitch marks will be around on this bank somewhere. There's one there. 
See, so that's yours. Yours just missed the bunker. Right, my line's just through Chris's size 10 there. Eight and a half, actually. Eight and a half. To be precise. Oof. Must be. Go on. No. Oh, that line was absolutely perfect as well. Is that good? Oh, good. No oh. chance. Get that knocked in some. Really? There's plenty left. It's two and a half foot there. I can't speak. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> so I'll yeah, that for free. Oh. We'll see it in. See it in for my fault. I can't believe I've missed that. That's a good size 11, that. One down with one to play. And we want to play. So. And you can't even really, can't really put that down to the irons, can you? That was just... Just you, James. Just no, you. that was a lapsing, that was like a lapsing concentration, that. That's disappointing. Just you. I've been really good at not doing that this year as well. Oh, let's rescue it. Let's rescue it. Right, redemption starts here. Oh, long way in from there. Although that is looking quite good. I mean, it sounds very good. It does, doesn't it? Just up the old left, that off. left side. It's different how one missed putt can ruin your day. So far. Right, right hand side, Chris. And I'm uh, actually level with you with the two iron on the left hand side. Not as social, this hole. Not as social, but you've, you've got that out there, haven't you, to be fair? Yeah. It's a good one left in as well, I'll tell you that. It's for a full one into this cold sea breeze. Right, let's try and get it there. Oh, that is, I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, it's going to work out. Oh, just stop dead. It's got a tricky little chip. Have you with... changed your mindset since moving to these clubs? You know, like if we take a good look at them now, have you changed anything in regards to how you play the game? Do you get a bit lazy over it maybe? No, I'm not lazy. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping for a more in-depth answer there. Did but... you not know I'm overworked? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, underpaid. Uh, correct as well. No, I mean, I don't, I'm not really changed. I mean, I just know that, I mean, I can get away with it. You look at the last, I didn't hit it perfect. It still went as far as yours, ripped one, mm -hmm. whether that's speed or whether it's the club. But yeah, you can get a little bit lazy. The but question the... is, who's the idiot? Well, that's true. If you can make the game easier. Me. Not, not you, me. <laughs> Him. In fairness, um, I didn't realise we were that close to the... Uh, at least it's not frozen over today. No, it's not that cold yet, although it is getting there. It's a good shot. Penetrating. It's over the bunker, isn't it? I think it's skipped somehow over. So it could be on the front edge. Oh. Right, somehow that has crept on. I'm sure that did pitch. It must be quite hard panning there. Oh, we'll take everything we're given. Well, yeah. You're short as well. It shows how long this hole's playing. Two power back four irons doesn't cut it. Not quite. So interesting how you can use that pitching wedge from there. That is a great shot as well. So for the power back, everyone thinks your pitching wedge will not work. That was uh, absolutely... Even for you, that was... That's that was delightful, wasn't it? Right, I think I need... Well, I need that not to lose, then. Correct. No pressure. All on this. Oh, I tell you what, Chris, it's nearly a hole-in-one. We. Oh, oh, oh. We. So I've got a club length there, haven't I? No, no idea. Oh, yeah, it's impeding the... Uh, we'll go from there. I thought it was just near his point of relief, to be honest. Yeah, you still need, like, a length of summit, don't you? A length? A length. Can I have it out, please, Chris? Right. It was a big uh, swing at the end. Now or never. Out it is. Gone are the days of tending, it seems. Are you not allowed to tend it? I don't know. Not hit it. My putting today has been disastrous. Close. This is to not be too down, isn't it? It did scare it. What a turn that is on there. Could, could well, be. in fairness, the video was about Chris and about his new irons. So, 
illegal hole from young John. <laughs> yeah. Guys, oh, just need another go at that, really, just to, for my own sanity. Let's get a back swing on it. Even that. Yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that. I hope it's given you a bit more confidence to think about using more forgiving golf clubs moving forward. It's helped you, hasn't it? Massively. It has. Don't be afraid to go to them. You can still get enough height with them. Don't just think they are power bats. Apart from that, guys, I look forward to seeing you all at exactly the same time tomorrow where normal service will be resumed and hopefully we beat him. That is the worst I've played in a long time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>